Hey guys, welcome back to a new um, video. Today I have a flip through of these two journals to share with you. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to say for those of you who are um, uh, watching my videos and also are um, following my uh, Instagram sales, I just wanted to say thank you so much um, for par participating to my sales last week. Um, it's it truly means the world to me um, that you guys support my uh, small business and help me to you know just um, try to be <laughs> better in what I do um, and you know just thank you so much for uh, the support and also I've reached the 1000 subscribers which is a bit a bit crazy um, and again, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, subscribing, for watching my videos. Uh, I know I'm not sharing a lot of, well, I'm not sharing at all any tutorials or um, I just like, I just need more time for myself. Um, it's a bit hard to kind of, um, you know, do everything at the same time, but I'm, I'm really trying. Uh, I will try to get better at it. Um, I am going to move in a new a new home very soon, so it's going to be a little bit chaotic at first. And I might not share a lot of things for a little while because we need to do some renovation and stuff like that. But once I'm all settled, um, I will be... Um, I will have a... A bigger space for myself and you know I will be able to organize a little bit better <laughs> um, my days and my space so I hopefully I will be able to um, you know to provide more content and more goodies anyways sorry about that um, let's just get into the flip through so these journals I made um, yeah a while back actually um, they're just um, there are these soft covers um, junk journal with one signature. This one, these ones are bigger than a cahier size journal. Um, I haven't, um, I haven't measured them yet. Uh, it's like 24 centimeters and 18, um, 18. <laughs> um, I believe they have more than 20 pages, so like, um, so like 80 uh, sides to work in. Um, but I will be putting all the description um, in my Etsy uh, listing because they will be going on Etsy this afternoon. Um, okay, so about the theme, there is none. <laughs> Well, actually, there is a color theme throughout. Um, as you can see, it's very red and kind of cream, like beige and red. Um, I used, I wanted these journals to feel very like, um, feel inviting in a way that there is not much decorating inside. There is a little bit because this is, <laughs> I guess this is just my style, the way I like creating journals but there is uh, a lot of room to do your things and I just wanted to um, let the paper speak for themselves themselves <laughs> um, so I hope you will enjoy that um, I did pull out um, different papers and um, documents from my um, collection of books magazines and you know, just my French collection of vintage and antique things. And um, the, um, the fabrics that I used along with the laces are either antique, no, they're, they're mainly antique, um, vintage I mean. Um, I don't think they're 100 years old, but they're, they're old and very pretty. Um, there is this, I don't know if you saw my... Um, design team project for the Graphics Fairy for last month. I did a masculine themed um, journal kit and I used some of these medall medallions that I um, found in uh, flea markets 
uh, and I found more and I just thought I would uh, add one to each color cover sorry um, so this one has the French flag uh, with uh, this like silver me medallion there's a little bit of um, velvet here this is a laundry trim um, the, um, the lace is a pocket here there's a bit of stitching and yeah inside the pocket I included um, actually it's exactly the same on the other one I'm just gonna put this one aside and we'll do a flip later um, but they're very similar in the way they are constructed and the way I put the pages and ephemera throughout and also the types of ephemera but they're not completely uh, identical um, so this is an um, invoice actually it comes from my hometown which is Marseille and it's dated from 25 so it's nearly antique um, it is for um, wines and well actually not only wines there's also tea coffee uh, lots of beverages so there's that all uh, the ephemera are authentic along with the pages there's no digital in this one or these ones so that goes in here there's an antique French postcard it's a beautiful French postcard a beautiful lady and then I did with these um, you know these were like pouches to hold um, photo negatives so I did put a few uh, inside I think there are one here and three on the other sides other side yeah and then I did a I made a little booklet with some scraps um, yeah so you can just um, you can just you know tear um, the, the paper out um, off <laughs> if you want to use it in your journal or you can you know um, put some gesso in it cover it with some collages or anything <laughs> so Actually, I'm gonna remove that. On this side here, uh, I just used the, the cutoff, like the remnant of this fabric to add a little bow. And so when you open the journal up, inside it is covered with some very old floral fabric as well. I did include, um, this is actually a cover of a book. And um, it's, like cardstock really and I just added this to create like a little board you know writing board and of course you can use it for something else you can collage on it or just you know <laughs> you can do anything and but I thought it would be nice to have a little writing board um, this is a, a magazine page from Le Journal des Demoiselles which was an antique uh, it, it was a um, magazine that was supposed to um, be read by ladies um, from uh, 14 to 18 years old. Uh, so it was a magazine for younger ladies. Um, and um, this one uh, was dated from 1915. And I'm going to try to be a little bit quicker. Um, I love uh, including recycled things like this was in a ledger book and so you have another piece is on the in the other journal some document from Paris this is an authentic um, like um, you know advertisement card uh, chromo chromos chromos I, don't know. I have no idea how you pronounce that uh, but this is a um, an authentic collectible card um, and it's antique. I also did a few journaling cards with some um, images from books and magazines so um, these uh, pins are vintage as well um, I added a few of these little um, pins then this is not a pin, this is um, <laughs> don't, 
I don't remember the name, but um, yeah, these are pins, I guess, and I added a few here in this piece of um, this piece of um, fabric, so you can, you know, take these out and then you know clip some papers together or something to a page, as they used to do um, in um, <laughs> in back in the days. I mean. <laughs> Um, a fashion, a fashions magazine page, and we have a little bit of um, raw supplies, um, some lace trim, and then a snapshot. This I made. I made this book. It was um, this is not French, obviously, but I got this from a Happy Mail, uh, in a Happy Mail, and. Um, I love the old tape here and I just added this little pocket and we have some old stationary paper and a photograph. Um, I have a book of black and white photographs from Paris and um, yeah, I just like to add these throughout my journals. Bit of antique book page and fabric uh, scraps was part of a vintage calendar, some ledger sheets, and some are blank like these ones, you can write, and some, I believe I, yeah, I added some that uh, have writing on it. Um, here there is a magazine page here, and I added a few, you know, goodies, advertisement, and also uh, handwritten notes. This one is antique. It's from 1923. I will put these things properly <laughs> um, a little later. This is an antique postcard and a little lace applique. We have a little pocket here and again plenty of different types of ephemera, uh, mainly French. And you can use to, you know, do some collages or write on it. This is from a book about um, Arletti, who was, um, she was an actress um, in, um, well, she, I guess she started in the late 20s, um, 30s. This is an antique uh, doily applique have this uh, authentic document with the fiscal 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 <laughs> stamp um, a beautiful page from a ledger this is from La Famille an antique magazine and we have these beautiful lace designs and I just clipped another lace applique so this one is from La Vie à, Vie à la Campagne Life in the Countryside added a beautiful piece of textile and this photo uh, postcard um, album page. And I also like to add some interesting, you know, floating pieces. This, uh, this was taken from a book that I have and I just like, you know, the, <laughs> the image and again you can I don't know, it's a book page, you can collage um, with it, you know, or maybe create a pocket, tuck spot. This is a, a belly band, and uh, in a lot that I actually showed you um, in one of my previous videos, I received um, two pieces of this kind of, um, it looks like silk, but it's, I don't think it is. No, it's not. But it it's like a military um, piece, uh, and this piece of fabric I wanted to include in in the journal. Um, I also included some collage um, pieces for you to play with. There's an envelope here, and don't worry, I will. <laughs> the second I will put some music, so you don't have to listen to me. <laughs> explaining um, everything, um, beautiful handwriting and a little 
notepad um, paper. And again, just some pieces that I thought were interesting and that you can collage with. We have a handmade journaling card here with, um, you know, an Art Nouveau style um, mm, store. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, I'm sorry, but I think you know what I mean. Um, and we have some vintage um, notebook page and then this little business card. This was this was what this paper was uh, taken from a French newspaper, and then we have another book page with some interesting uh, design, and then some receipt here. I'm not going to take everything out this time, but um, a vintage playing card and a piece of this magazine Broderie Lyonnaise, so you can collage with. This is a recent postcard actually, but it is about the trolley bus in Paris in the 40s. Here we have some very old trim and an antique Eau de Cologne um, label, some vintage book um, note, mm, notebook page and then some handmade paper. Piece of pretty fabric here and receipts. This is a little <laughs> notepad and this is fountain pen friendly and you can write little notes here. Um, I just added this laundry trim. This one is uh, vintage. This is a piece from Les Magasins du Louvre um, calendar book. A few advertisements. Have a, another beautiful piece of fabric here and these are like <laughs> these came in a lot as well and I, I thought they were fun but um, these are calendar you know like these small calendar page that you can tear out um, but these are vintage a beautiful eyelet trim a little receipt here And we have a pocket here with a um, handmade journaling card with some book pages. And actually I backed one postcard that was not really, I didn't care for the image on the front. So just covered it with this um, image. There's a little <laughs> journaling card here and another handmade journaling card. A little plate here, part of a plate, thought it was pretty. And then we have some wine labels, vintage wine label and receipt. So you can see if you remove all the things, it's nearly blank. It's not completely blank, but it's close to blank. So you have lots of room to have fun and create your spreads. So we have we have some engravings here from an old La Famille, and this is a bloating paper advertisement bloating paper. A little cutout here, but you can replace it with a a photo or I don't know a little note. This is some eyelid trim again, a little a little label that I got from the U.S. Um, this is another receipt. I like to, like as a little interactive piece in the journals that I make, I like to add these little receipts. Um, these you can turn into journaling cards. You can cut and then back them. I thought they were kind of fun to add. And that's the back for this one. So we have the first one and now I'm going to go through the second one. And just put some music and kind of um, um, go a little quicker. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy these um, more simple journals. Um, I will put them when you will be watching the video. They will be already um, on my Etsy shop. 
So yeah, if you're interested, check it out. I will link everything uh, down below. So I will see you guys in my next video. And in the meantime, have a great day. Bye-bye.